In Pincher Creek, the first day of summer holidays saw staff, students, and parents of St. Michael's School join forces with townspeople to build a brand new playground for the community. Today we are building a community playground. We have all sorts of volunteers. I believe we have 250. Uh, they brought their elderly parents and grandparents and children. We have newborn babies here today. And uh, we've been planning this playground since January. Uh, we were awarded one of the few communities in Canada to be awarded the Let Them Be Kids Helping Hands Award, which matches any money we raise for a play structure. And this is really about more than building a playground. This is about bringing the community together. And this year, there, it's been the economic downturn, and a lot of people in our community, as in many communities, have lost their jobs. Um, a lot of positions were cut here at the school, and having something so joyous to look forward to in the form of a playground has really been kind of a beacon. Everybody in Pincher Creek has been really happy to get on board. It's just been stunning. Meanwhile, at Fleetwood Bodden Elementary in Lethbridge, students and parents in Jenny Parkinson's grade 3 class spent the summer growing a vegetable garden behind their school, turning the seeds and seedlings they planted in spring into a bountiful harvest of good eating. The project was that I was interested in helping the children understand more about healthy eating and what choices they could make and what better way than to actually grow the vegetables. And we haven't harvested a lot of it yet, but we will. And um, I think having seen the plants grow from seed and from seedlings, they've really, really learned a lot. And so I think it's been a great project and you know, lots of parental help during the summer for the watering. And we hope to do it again next year. It's fantastic. I came every day about 35 or more days and later on in the summer you had to come and water the corn, sunflowers, tomatoes the most because they would drink the most. Also if you notice our five gallon buckets underneath here, well we had a resident gopher and we still do and everything you see on five gallon buckets, the gopher was eating. So the carrots, for example, he had eaten right down to bare sticks, and I was sure they were gonna die, and now look at them. This is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this summer saw the continuation of a major $10 million revitalization of Gilbert Patterson Middle School. The project, which has been underway for a year and a half, will see the entire school completely updated and modernized by October. They get all new electrical upgrades, new mechanical upgrades, new heating, new plumbing, uh, new paint, new flooring, new roofs, new T-bar ceilings, new lights. Uh, uh, we update all the new optics, like uh, the fiber optics and stuff like that. Uh, we get them, uh, they'll have wireless uh, points in the school so that they can run wireless computers and stuff there too. Yeah, when we're done, it's, it's basically like having a brand new school for the kids and, you know, with hopefully all the technical updates that we can give them so that they can function with the new technology. So. We'll be back with more stories from the summer of 2010 when a public education returns after this break.